What's going on everyone? I got a brand new movie review for you guys today and today I'm discussing a foreign film called Cold War. Cold War is one of those films that I had no idea what I was getting into. I knew it was a foreign film, I knew it was set in black and white, and I knew I was really going to need to be invested into this movie. So if you're planning on seeing this film, please see it in the theater because this film deserves to be seen in the theater. I, I'll... I love this movie. I, I Flat out, I love this movie. And I'll just get to that right out there. I loved Cold War. It's a beautiful, a beautiful, immaculate film that is, in every sense of the way, one of the best films of this year. And it's a film that I might never watch again, but I can recommend for people who want to be enhanced and engaged into a film. Again, this is a film that requires all your attention, not just because it's a foreign film. Now, of course, if you know the language, it might be better for you, maybe easier for you. But if you, like me, a simple American, you're going to really need to delve deep into this film. And there's so much to delve into this film. It's only an hour and a half, so that's a great runtime. And it doesn't feel like it ever needed to be extended or lowered. It just, the pacing was perfect. And a lot of that goes to the director in here, which I'm going to butcher his name. and I'm, So I'm not even going to try and say it, but uh, fantastic directing. And I know there's a lot of passion behind the scenes for this film because he was actually based this on a true story with his parents. And you feel that passion throughout the whole entire movie. The movie feels that passion because it was a, a passionate love story between two people who had different backgrounds and temperatures are fatally mis mismatched and trying to just be together. But this film is set during the Cold War. And that's not why this film is called Cold War. There's a lot of reasons and a lot of different symbolisms for why this film is called Cold War. And I'm not necessarily going to get into that because I think that's something that I want you guys to discover. And I don't want to spoil anything that happens to go throughout with this movie. Because then, this is a movie that you want to watch. It's not predictable. It's not one of those films you can sit there and guess each and every move. But it tells a lot of its story, not just within the voice and the language, but through the emotions through our actors and also through symbolism. And not that hooey hooey ha ha symbolism that you get in First Reformed or other independent films, but it's that smart symbolism that is easily right in front of you and for you to interpret and for you to work in your own ways. It works out for the best in that. And again, that all goes to the directing in here. But man, I do have to give a big acclaim for Johanna Kolig, who plays Zula, the main lead actress in here. And I will go as far as to say she gives one of the best performances of the year. I loved her performance. I want to see her in more things. I want to watch more foreign films and find out whatever else she's been in because she stole the whole entire film. You feel her energy, her emotions, her gravitas throughout this whole film. And she is outstandingly the best part about it. Look out for her in the near future because I think this film is going to blow her up. And Cold War is just, in a sense, a beautifully cold-hearted love story that makes you want to fall in love, find your mismatched person, get together with them, but also tear you and rip you to shreds. It, it, I, I was driving home and I remember like I, I started tearing up to this thinking about this movie. Uh, it's a beautiful looking film. The cinematography is gorgeous. It's some of the best of the year. There's one scene in particular where they're at a party and he's just sitting up against this mirrored wall and he's talking to someone. But if you look into the mirror, because it's just him sitting against it, you see everyone partying and stuff, but you can totally tell that Zula is just being picked out in the middle, just looking at him. And there's a couple scenes like this where if you just look in the background, you can see one or the other, the boy or the girl looking at each other, looking at each other, admiring each other from a distance. And it, it's, it can be for a split second, it can be for a long shot, it can be for a one shot, it doesn't matter, it's there. War Again is one of the most beautiful films I've seen all year long. It, the cinematography is excellent, the love story in here is passionate, and you feel the passion from behind the lens and in front of it, and the performances in here are great. I love this film, it's definitely a film to put yourself out there, try it out. If you've never watched a foreign film before, maybe this could be your first one. Definitely one of the best foreign films to get you in and pull you in and get you sucked into this again when the film started i didn't know what to think about it but as it kept going i found myself getting swooped in and loved into the story even though it tore me apart towards the end it's definitely a film that you guys should check out for the very least so with all that said i'm gonna give cold war an a minus really curious to hear your guys thoughts on this one have you seen it have you not let's talk about it down below in the comments and of course if you are from the country that this is made of thanks so much for watching this video you are the best you're always the best if you watch my videos and if you're new here consider hitting that like and subscribe button and also hitting up sandwich on films also down below because right down there you guys can get into advanced movie screens and check out some movie news and even some movie reviews but guys until next time stay classy